Hello. Hi, Hi Kevin. How are you? Oh, oh my God. God. I, 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 how are you? I'm 30. All right. What, what is your first name? Fania. Okay. What, what is your criticism, criticism or critique? Uh, my criticism is um, basically, basically I, I, I was just wondering because the, the same way that, that I feel that you put women on the spotlight and you kind of put pressure on them to kind of answer your questions and prove their value. I feel that you should also put black men on the same type of pressure because the same the same um the same thing that you say about you know women not presenting themselves properly and it's the same way we are saying that Black men are not putting themselves to us. Uh, okay, okay. Kevin talked to men for three years. No one gave a fuck. And then on top of that, the black men he did talk to didn't put up any type of resistance to anything as far as him telling us to improve or anything like that. Anything he was saying to black men, first off, no one cared about. Secondly, black men did not have any pushback because black men knew we had to get on our shit in the first place. We take criticism differently. That's a bad argument, Fania. Sorry. Ma'am, how do you hear me? I'm Daddy. My platform is one. Have black men been critiqued enough? I understand that. Yes. No, I'm, I'm asking. Yes. Have black men been critiqued? Yes, they've been critiqued. Okay, right. So are you asking me for a balance? Not really a balance. Maybe you don't even have to do it now. I just feel like you're the sole person for them. I would like to hear them speak for themselves more because they can't. Why can't they? Because women don't listen. Ultimately, that's what it is. Women do not listen because black men have actually been speaking for years and it's just women don't listen. It takes a figure like the late Kevin Samuels to be able to do something like this and have an effect on the world. Um, black men have been saying shit for years. Women don't listen. They've what? been speaking, excuse me. They've been speaking in their houses, in their lives. Excuse me, don't shake your head. Black men have been speaking for my entire lifetime. Y'all aren't listening. Black men, where do you think I learned all this stuff from? Listen to uh, listen. They can't. They they do. Where, where, where can black men speak freely without being shouted down? Um, well, this is why. Right. No, answer my question first, then then move on. Where can black men speak freely? Without being shut down. Well, they can speak to us. I, where, 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 where? When, when, when we want AIDS to talk to them, they're smart about who they are. On dates. Yes, on dates. Ma'am, you're not even being read. Okay. Let me be more clear. Mm -hmm. What platforms or institutions? Can a black man speak without being shouted down? Maybe your platform. You can have this man right now. This is okay. So me, I'm supposed to build my business, my platform, and then make it to where. See, I want you to understand. You've already answered the question. There is no place. If they gotta come to my platform. That means there's not a place where black men can go. And that's exactly what I said earlier. They can't. Do you get that? I, I get that. That's, that's what, it's because I agree with why I that they should be given a chance to. Given a chance by who? Because you're the Given a chance by whom? Me? Well, because, but I'm trying to say, I'm saying that, Kevin. No, I'm saying they should be given a chance by whom? Who? Well, you saying there's no way. No, who should give them a chance is what I'm asking. We're willing to give 
the chairs right now. Whom man? Okay, I'm asking you. I said, where you said black men should be able to speak. I said they can't. Then I asked you, where should they go? You said they can do it. Where can they go without being shot down? First thing you said is on a date. That's crazy. Then I said, what businesses or institutions or platforms? You said on yours. Out of the whole global world, you expect all the black men to converge on the one platform. <laughs> Do you see the problem with that? But let me ask you, hold on, hold on. I want you to listen. Where can black women go to speak their concerns? I don't think black women are their concerns. You don't think black women have platforms to speak their concerns? Not really. I feel like right now I'm speaking my concerns. And I feel Diamond like- Noir, Essence, Ebony, Grapevine, Bossa, Onsite. That's not. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. You are, are you serious? Black women's concerns are magnified and amplified. And see, this is the problem. This is the problem. You got one man with one voice, and I want you to understand that black women are so brittle and so <laughs> sensitive to where they can't tolerate in one place. And then I'm supposed to build this up. Then I'm supposed to say, come on over, millions of black men. Well, how about this? If you want to hear black men's concerns, I'll, I'll tell you how we do it. What you do is you go and you uh, work with, petition, and convince black women to give their platforms over to black men. You go tell the black women who command the public square, all right, we've already, we've got, we've had our, we've had our uh, say, uh, it's, in November is National Men, it's International Men's uh, Month. For in all of November, we're going to just turn our platforms over to black men. See how many people, see how many black women would let that happen. I understand things that you're saying, and as you listen to your point of view, but I feel like me we're losing um, the meaning of what people are saying. What I'm trying, I'm happy that. And you are a spoke person for black men. But also, if you can do one episode where you question black men, but you question black women, that's what? Question black men? I did that for three years. That's what I did the first three years. And they have women. That was what I did the first three years. Mm. Who listened? Maybe I have to. Who listened? Who listened? The first three years I talked with men, who listened? I've been you for a whole year now. Ma'am, please. I did that for three years. Who listened? Only the men. Only the men. A few women, but only the men. I'm willing to listen. I asked you, who listened? Answer that question. I'm not sure who it is because I wasn't, I, I didn't dare at the time. Right. How did you get here? I got here because. Because I started talking to women. And then the world listened. Okay, I get it now. Thank you.